welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about Chocolate, the first mini album from Max of TVXQ, aka his solo debut. So I'm like a medium TVXQ fan because as much as I've wanted to go through their entire discography, they have like, I want to say 17 years worth of discography and that's not just Korean, that's Korean, there's Japanese and there's a lot of it so I haven't had the time to like really sit down and go through everything so I couldn't I can't call myself like a full-on TVXQ fan yet but I want to be I aspire to be and hey maybe that's the next group I tackled during quarantine so um yeah my bias in TVXQ so far I mean there's only two members right now but yeah my bias is max so I was really excited to see that he had a solo debut coming up and I was like excited to hear it but like as stuff happened over the last like week I've been I was really busy and I didn't have time to listen to any teasers or any of the stuff that SM was putting out to promote it until the actual music video came out and so I clicked on it and I was expecting one thing and I was completely blown out of the water with what we actually got Chocolate was amazing, and then of course after that I was like, if this song is this good, I have to hear the mini-album. And even though I don't usually have a lot of time to check out b-sides, I went and I checked out these b-sides and I was just blown away by how good this mini-album was. So yeah, I decided this is a video worth making, um, this is an album worth making a video about because I know a lot of people won't like, unless you're like an SM stan or a TVXQ fan, a lot of people wouldn't go out of their way to check this out. And so I did decided that this album definitely needs more promotion. So I would have loved to do a video about it. So here we are. And uh, hopefully I can explain my title through this video of why I think this album might be the best solo debut of 2020. Or possibly like one of the best like solo debuts from SM recently, like period. This album is phenomenal and I'm so excited to get to share with share my thoughts on it with you guys. And if you hadn't already checked it out, I hope that you will check it out and hopefully add some of these songs to your playlist and support Max. So yeah, let's get right into the album review. So I have to admit that Chocolate took me by real surprise because usually when we have K-pop songs by the name of Chocolate, it's usually something slower, maybe more ballad-like. And as I stated before, I didn't watch any teasers for this because I was busy with other stuff. So when the music started and as I watched the music video, I was just blown away because my expectations were so different from what Max delivered. And wow, guys, it's just the my favorite part of the song was the duality between like obviously his vocals like. SM is known for amazing vocals, and we can clearly see why on this track. Uh, Max's vocals, like the, some of the notes he was hitting with like the power in them, was just so good and so strong. And then you can um, contrast that to some of his, like to some of like the spoken words, like when he said chocolate, like the lowness of his like natural voice there. And just all of that together made such like such an interesting creative track and if I had to describe it in a few words I'd be like sensuous um it just came off as a very sexy track and it kind of reminded me of like a James Bondish like spy vibe like fancy cocktail parties with a little bit of mystery and I absolutely love this track it was such a good choice for the title track and such a strong solo debut and it really introduced the sound of this entire album, this new, unique, but classic feeling sound that really blew me away. So I'll admit that at, during my first listen of the album, High Heels didn't really appeal to me as much, but going back and listening to it again before making this video really changed my perspective on the song. Stylistically, it's a like the opening, I want to say it was about 30 seconds at the beginning of just instrumental. That was a very 70s disco sound that you can clearly hear the bass guitar in there. And then it kind of slides into a more, um, I don't think it's piano in the back, but I can't tell exactly. Um, but it's a very lounge sound. Like if you were at a 
again, like I mentioned in chocolate, it feels very much like a fancy cocktail party. This is just something you'd hear played near the bar. It's a very like adult jazz loungy sound. And um, it's a lot softer, less experimental than chocolate, but that by any means doesn't make it uh, lesser of a track. I still really liked it. It reminds me of like dark nights, calm vibes. And even without like the wild vocals that we heard on Chocolate, it's still a very smooth, enjoyable track. And I really liked it more the second time going around. It's definitely going on my playlist now. So yeah. <laughs> So Lai kind of switches up the sound that we've been hearing on the album up till now before it felt very much like a nostalgic um, last century vibe. Like there were, as I mentioned earlier, there were 70s notes in, um, in the opening of High Heels and it very much felt like a film noir kind of vibe in the album. But Lai is completely different, but at the same time it doesn't feel like a drastic change when you listen to the album. Um, Lai is Max's collaboration with Chang Ha, and as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Chang Ha, so I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that they were collabing because I hadn't heard about it until the album came out. And when I saw that track, I instantly knew that this was going to be one that I'd have my eyes on. And after listening to the entire album, it actually became my favorite song from the album. So, um... Yeah, I didn't really know how their vocals would play together, but then hearing the song, I absolutely love it. At first, when I heard like the auto tune, like um, backing vocals that they had in there, like right after Max's part in the chorus, I was kind of worried because I was like, please tell me that's not all he did with Chung Hop. But then she has her own little bit as well, and I really love it. And honestly, I would kill to see them perform this live together. Max stated that in an interview that he hasn't actually met Chang Ha, they worked on the track, or he like sent the track to her, she recorded her parts and sent it back. So we've never actually met face to face, but I would love to see them perform this live at a music show or something, or maybe get a music video, fingers crossed for this. It would be so much fun. And definitely they're both really good dancers. So I feel like a dance collaboration for this would also be a really cool thing to see. Um, so yeah, it's definitely the most modern sounding. It definitely sounds like a track that was made in 2020. It's a lot more keeping with the modern trends, but it also still fits very well with the overall sound of the album. So Piano brings us back to the spy film noir sound that we saw in Chocolate and High Heels. And it has a very nostalgic techno sound slash beat in the background throughout most of the song. Um, his vocals hit wonderfully during the chorus. Like we have more of a calm vibe throughout the verses and then the chorus he just goes straight in with like his classic high notes. And I get a very jazz feel from that, like a reminiscent of like 1920s, like something you'd hear in a speakeasy or something just during the chorus, like his like belgian vocals parts. And then this speaking the spoken word parts during like the second verse and at the very end also balance this track really well. Again, it adds this like sensual air to it that this entire album has this very mature feel. And I really like that because from idols, we especially younger idols, we don't see a lot of this sound, but I'm glad that since Max, again, he said it's been 17 years since he's debuted and he's, I think, I think he said 17. Um, and now we're able to see this brand new, very different sound from him, mature sound of an idol that has been in the industry for 17 years. And I'm glad that SM let him show that off during this album. I'm so, freaking over you, like so, much on me. so me, myself and I brings us back to a more modern sound, but a different feel than Lai had. Um, while Lai kind of reminded me slightly of more EDM-ish sounds, um, me, myself, and I was had a very more KR&B feel, and it was very reminiscent of something that you could hear Crush, for example, singing. And um, 
it very much felt like waking up early at like first thing in the morning that was a vibe that I got from the song and but while having that R&B modern feel it also kind of still felt nostalgic but not necessarily like um chronologically nostalgic as much as just the feeling of the song and what we get from Max's voice during this song um it was a very calm track I really liked it um so yeah <laughs> lastly closing out the album we have no tomorrow which really kind of took me aback at first because it's an acoustic track I think the only real instrument we get at least at the beginning is a guitar and this sound while not unfamiliar to me as a westerner feels very out of place in k-pop at least to me I thought that it reminded me at least the opening guitar part like instantly reminded me of the song this town by Niall Horan and it's like I said earlier, it's a sound that we don't hear a lot in K-pop. It's very much a folk, almost country sound. And off the top of my head, I can't place any other K-pop song that has this like country, western, like American folk sound to it. But I just found it so odd, but also like refreshing to hear this sound in K-pop. And Max did a really good job of it. It felt like a really good close to the album in general. And so, yeah, I was unexpected, but I really liked it. So all in all, I can really say that this album, this album blew me away, guys. It threw me for a loop. It introduced so many different genres, so many different moods, some things that we see in K-pop a lot, some things we don't see in K-pop. And in general, I just feel like it was such a fresh album maybe that was just my opinion but this album felt so fresh to me and i loved seeing this other side of max that we don't get to see when he's promoting with tvxq and it was so interesting and like every song kept you hooked but in a different way and yet all the songs even the ones that sounded completely different from each other managed to still create a whole um a whole complete album without feeling disjointed and so that's one of the big things that like really sold me on this album and what made me call this album solo debut of the year question mark because it's just so different from the things we see in k-pop and it's something that i loved seeing in this album and i'm hoping we get to see more of this especially with i feel like sm entertainment has a lot of songs that fit a certain like niche or like they know what they want to do with their groups and their soloists and everybody has this little like shelf that they fill to see this from Max being something so different from the traditional SM sound and loving it and really looking forward to future mini albums and albums from him in the, as time goes on I really hope that this isn't the last solo stuff that we hear from Max and I'm extremely excited to see what he will do going forward and I would also love to see him be able to bring some of these sounds into TV excuse future music I feel like that would be really cool to see and yeah as we this album is still in its youth and as we see more stages uh, during promotions now and then may eventually eventually way eventually later in the year with like end of the year stages i look forward to seeing hopefully more of these b-sides performed fingers crossed for lie with chung ha but never know what we're gonna get and i'm just so so excited to see how max grows as a soloist now so yeah that's it for today um if well actually i'm not at the time that i'm recording this i've got a pull up on my Twitter and on my Instagram asking about what fun video you guys would like to see next time. I'm planning to do either a room tour or an album collection video because we're stuck at home and I don't really have anything better to do other than my schoolwork, obviously. But um, yeah, so you guys can go check those out and vote on those. And or if those polls have expired, I'm sure the posts will still be there. You can comment underneath and 
or send me a DM on Instagram and like let me know which of those you'd like to see or in the comments below here, obviously. And actually I'll put a poll coming out of this video somewhere here, plug the poll, um, of which of those videos you guys would like to see. I've got so many exciting things planned and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah.